What's going on, guys? Today, we're going to talk about the state of Fortnite. You know, there's just been a lot of controversy, especially as of late, if you want to call it that. You know, it just seems like so many people on both the competitive and casual ends are really unhappy. Well, I guess not everybody. You know, I know a lot of you guys are still enjoying the game, but, you know, based on viewership, numbers, and even trend data now, you know, Fortnite is yet again on a decline. Maybe that's just a natural downward trend this time, or possibly it's just Epic's decision making and how they're treating the game that's causing it. So I want to talk about it, okay? But I want you guys to tell me in the comments if you're still enjoying Fortnite. Are you guys playing as much as when Chapter 2 dropped? Or are you feeling bored with the game? Feel free to share your reasons why, okay? You know, you can use this opportunity, guys, to vent about all your frustrations. So let it out. Let it out. Just let it all out, all right? And before we begin, if you're looking for more tips and tricks, man, you got to check out ProGuides.com. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but you got to check out ProGuides.com, written by expert pros. Our courses can teach you guys how to reach the next level. Our experienced coaches can also guide you along your journey with VOD reviews or, you know, play sessions to find out the areas that you can improve in, all right? Hit the video with the like, subscribe to the channel, and then you got to follow the link in the description or just visit ProGuides.com. Like, not tomorrow. I'm talking about today. What's going? What's going on guys it is your motivation guy that's right your friend the one and only keith allen i am back to inspire you to not only be great in this game but also in life are you guys ready for the best year yet you gotta believe it because it always starts with you believing if you don't believe it you're gonna experience the same year you experienced last year and the year before that this is the year where you gotta put your foot on the gas all right and you gotta make it work this is about to be the best year ever connect with me on my new insta at your motivation guy. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. Come on, y'all need to scream this with me. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. All right, so look, before I get into complaining about the game, I do have to acknowledge the fantastic steps Epic has taken so far with the release of Chapter 2, all right? They separated the loot pools between casual and competitive, all right? Items were streamlined, and a lot of gimmicky concepts were removed, thank God. Gone are the days of overpowered vehicles dominating the meta. You know, all of these things, at least from a competitive player perspective, <laughs> are substantial changes. Still, were they enough to revitalize the game? So, you know, some have been saying no, and there is still a lot of things to be frustrated about. I get it. I think Chad pretty much summed it up on this recent tweet showing his Fortnite wish list for the new year. All right, so take a look right here at the things he wants. Some of this has been requested from the Fortnite community for close to a year now, man. Even settings that are standard in other games like an FOV slider or customizable crosshairs. Or how about the most recent baffling chains, the lack of patch notes. It is utterly insane. Yes, I just used the word utterly. Yes, that they stopped putting out patch notes for a game this large. You know, I know the most recent patch had them, but I think that was like the first time this season. What about all the previous updates, right? <laughs> like not everyone was able to read social media or just like watch YouTube videos all the time and find out every change made to the game. Changes that might have affected how they play in a tournament even. I guess they did it so that, you know, players would feel the need to just load up the game and just figure out changes on their own. But is that a good reason to keep non-content changes a secret? Hmm. You know, the lack of communication guys in general has been weak. Like, is structure replacing a coin flip still? Epic made that change not too long ago, and last we've heard, it's still in the game. But so many pros and comp players have been, you know, saying this just doesn't work. And that replacing structures is now back to being ping-based. Cypher PK ran some tests that he uploaded on his channel, and he even couldn't fully understand whether or not coin flip is in the game or not. My point is, guys, is that why hasn't Epic just come out and just said something about it? They have an official competitive Twitter account and their employees are pretty active on Reddit. So why has nothing been said about this issue? I'm sure a lot of pros have brought it up or other concerns for that matter even, you know? So even if they're not even brought up, they could sort of just tell us about these things, right? Like seven months ago, Epic said they were actively considering a way to disable pre-edits, something that players have been wanting for ages. But no such option was ever added to the game. Not even an update to tell us like, hey guys, well, here's the reason why we're not adding it. And this is the one of the more requested features by the community. So you think it would be like a statement or even something close to that, right? But even the other settings that could be easily implemented, like separate building and editing sensitivities for keyboard and mouse players. So why are they so against this? Is it because they want to restrict PC player advantages? I mean, they added the settings for controllers, then later for mobile. And the last time they talked about putting it on for PC players was October. 
Are they still exploring the option? Or have they decided not to implement it? Like, what's going on? Who knows at this point? So Chap also mentioned some balance changes he liked to see as well, like the addition of more mobility, which has been a massive topic even lately. Some players think no mobility is fine for the game, while others think it needs to be added in some form or another. And I somewhat agree to that. It was just a bit jarring to go from having mobility all over the place to almost nothing. Ninja recently tweeted that with how common edge of the map zones are, mobility is a must. And again, I agree with him. Chap was saying quad crashes get out of back, which would be a perfect fit. And yeah, sure, boats exist right now, but I'm sure most of us can agree that boats being restricted to water, okay, they're like nowhere near as useful as quads were. Mongrel also put out a series of tweets recently showing some pictures of what he wants back in the game. Now, Mongrel's not like the definitive voice of the community or anything like that, but maybe he's just impression farming. But he's not the only one requesting some of this stuff, all right? Like more map fixtures for mobility, rotational items for the end game buffing the pump shotgun to bring it back to the old damage it used to do. You might disagree with some of these, all right, and that's fine, but the point is, my friends, players are hungry. I'm talking about starving for change. They want things switched up to prevent the game from becoming stale. So look, maybe all of these tweets and complaints are because there hasn't been anything competitive for a long time. Ever since the FNCS ended in early December, there's really been no news on what's coming next. Yeah, we got solo cash cuffs and some hype nights brought back, but those are pretty minor. So many content creators and pro players have their lives revolve around the competitive scene, right? So to just shut down communication, all right, like all together, and not talk about plans, I think it's a bit odd and a uh, little weird. Players thought that the next event would be a duels Fortnite Champion Series, which is logical considering that we had trios, squads after, then the Winter Royale duos. But then some solo hype nights were scheduled, so now people think it might be a solo event, I guess. Even the pros don't even know what they should be practicing. <laughs> Everybody's confused. They don't even know what mode to grind in. Pretty much all the pros and streamers have been box fighting 24-7 because there's really nothing else to work on. Although that might be changing soon, apparently just the other night, Tfue leaked a DM on stream that showed Epic was looking for 200 pro players for an upcoming competitive test. One that requires a separate build of the game. Hmm. Now, that is kind of interesting. So why would there be a need to have a different build of the game? Is it a new game mode, perhaps? Some are guessing it's Epic trying to compete with Call of Duty, which is allegedly adding a 200-player battle royale soon. Uh-oh. That could be very well in the case. But there would have to be some serious advances in server performance for that to work. Also, you know, FaZe Clan's coach Destiny's Jesus speculated on Twitter that the reason an announcement is taking so long is that something huge is coming. Possibly a brand new league with online qualifiers and LAN events all over the world. Similar to what Apex Legends announced, but on a much, you know, larger scale. Now, Epic did hire Nate Nancer last year, the guy that ran the Overwatch League, so it makes sense that we might see some sort of league announced very soon. Plus, hey, you know, it's always possible that the testing with that Tifu's talking about and other pros are doing concerns this big reveal. Wouldn't that be sick though, man? A competition with an even larger scale than the World Cup? Oh my goodness. Still, your guess is as good as ours at this point. <laughs> so leave your prediction on what this test is for in the comments. And I think, you know, if they do announce anything, it's gonna end up being platform specific. The platform specific events we had recently, like the Winter Royale, seem to be a massive success because they finally gave console mobile players a chance to shine, man. I mean, if you look back at it, it was kind of weird how Epic made the World Cup cross platform because no offense to anyone on console or mobile, I love you guys, but there was no way they're gonna be able to compete with PC players. I mean, PCs can just like run at like four times the frame rate and they can tinker with graphic settings for an even more significant advantage. Console and mobile players, you know, while, you know, they can be utterly cracked at the game, which, you know, many of you are, sadly, it's just the truth, can't really compete, you know, due to their device limitations. But either way, maybe Epic recognized this and are planning something so that all players on all devices can compete at a high level. But so far, we've got no confirmation on what's next. Speaking of platforms, though, what about crossplay? You know how every system has been forced to play together this season, right? What's up with that, man? I know Epic is big on crossplay and allowing users to just queue up with their friends no matter what they play on these days. But to force it, like, no matter what, appears to be driving players away. Like, why is it on for solo modes, too? Or if it's just you and your buddy playing on your PS4s? I don't really see any reason why pub matches need to pull together different devices. Maybe to lower queue times, I'm really not sure. But at least give players an option to turn it off. 
Even if skill base is supposed to put you around players of your skill level, there's nothing fair or fun about having to go against someone with better equipment. Cause like, even if both players are equally skilled, <laughs> just knowing that your opponent might be playing on a better device than you, I mean, that's frustrating. Nobody seems to enjoy it, and the only effect it has is really been making pubs feel like more like arenas, but without Siphon, at least on mobile and console. Combine the issues with skill-based matchmaking with the lack of content updates, and it is just really clear to see why players aren't as invested in the game like it was before. Before Chapter 2, Epic was releasing new weapons, new items, and POIs on an almost weekly basis. Post Chapter 2, all right, we've barely seen anything. Yes, <laughs> we got a brand new map, hooray. And so far, that's the only thing still keeping this somewhat fresh. But what else has really been here, right? Not a whole lot of permanent additions. The Star Wars and Christmas events were pretty cool, all right? But they eventually had to go. Most recently, we got the AK added back, plus, you know, side grading as a new mechanic. A welcome addition, of course, but I'm guessing like most of you guys are going to get bored in a couple of days. Honestly, man, I just appreciate what Epic's been trying to do. You know, they've toned down their constant updating, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Remember, my friends, players complained about constant updates in the past as well, and that did lead to updates being rushed out with imbalanced items and, you know, bugs and issues that drove players away. <laughs> However, you know, while the number of updates was too hectic before, things have been way too slow in Chapter 2. They need to find a balance somewhere in the middle. So, what do I think can help bring back the fun of Fortnite? You guys ready to hear? All right, so first and foremost, give us an option to, you know, disable crossplay. With just how much variety can exist among player hardware, it shouldn't be forced. Games are going to feel more fair, and it's going to be like more fun if players know they aren't losing to players on better systems. Do you agree? Epic needs to start adding qualify of life changes to the game. Things like bug fixes, you know, frame rate improvements, and even settings. You know, the ones that have been asked for nonstop. If you got a reason for not adding something, at least tell the community so we're not like hanging in the dark. Also, introduce new content on a more regular basis. Maybe like once, you know, every two or three weeks would be a nice balance where it doesn't ruin the game, but it still keeps it fresh. However, keep the new changes out of competitive until they've proven to be a good fit, please. Things aren't necessarily bad with Fortnite right now. You know, personally, I feel like the game has been worse, you know, in the past, but I would be lying if I said that they couldn't be better right now. There are still 20 something days left until the next season, which is honestly a lot to go without new additions. So hopefully Epic Games does something to keep us busy until then. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, I know a lot's going on in the Fortnite world and a lot in life, so keep your head up and keep going stay positive, be influencers, be leaders, impact people all around you, make people laugh, make people smile, even if you don't even know them, all right? Just make the world a better place one person at a time, all right? And I promise you, you're going to receive that as well. Connect to me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more daily Fortnite content. Remember to leave your thoughts on the state of the game. You know, whether you love it or hate it, you know, we'll read it. And just as a reminder, you can always use code PROGUYS in the item shop to support us on every purchase you make. All right, we'll see you next time.